Well, we have seen some game-changing defense so far in the series. Go back to game one, and boy, Ezekiel Carrera saved a couple runs. Unbelievable play, Bob. I asked Jacoby Ellsbury about this play today, and he said the circumstances of the game with the bases loaded, where these two teams are in the point in the season, he said he puts that play at the top of his list. And then that sneaks through. The Yankees could score another, but Kinsler with a nice play. Yeah, Kinsler going to his left, and Bob, what he does here is he not only snares the ball, but I always look at how quickly does the infielder get rid of the ball. I think Kinzer turning his body and doing an awesome job of getting this ball to Cabrera. And then Cabrera like a brick wall over there. Headley not even able to run over him. Cabrera makes a nice play too. And if Cabrera, by the way, Kenny, does not have that kind of speed in center field, he was playing shallow. That could be a problem. But you look at the fewest defensive shifts in the majors. And you no, know, Tigers are right there on balls in play this season. Not, they don't make it do as many shifts. Well, you got a young manager in Brad Osmus, and uh, I think he's still learning his team. Number one, defensively, what, when you're looking at the Detroit Tigers, they've got a veteran ball club somewhat, but he also has a new center fielder. And I think that's one reason they were able to trade Austin Jackson. They knew they had Carrera to play center field, and he's faster than Austin Jackson. You know what's interesting about that graphic that shows that they don't shift as much as a lot of other teams? When David Price addressed the media the other day, and he was talking about the things that he has to adjust to, he said one of the things he was talking to about the Tigers coaching staff was shifts. So in Tampa Bay, he was obviously used to a lot more shifts. So with Detroit, they must have wanted to tell him, listen, do things a little bit differently here. All right. Now we've also seen some great defense from the Yankees in this series. Gardner, yes, and then Headley as well, Kenny. I mean, he has played some tremendous third base. Yes, yeah, since coming over from the San Diego Padres, I think one thing we have to remember, he did win a gold glove in the National League, and that means he was able to make plays just like this when he got a lot of help on the other end from Mark Teixeira, scooping it out of dirt. And of course, Brett Gardner, we know he has a type of speed to play center field, let alone left field at Yankee Stadium. Have a lot of room to cover there. Excellent play. You can see the reaction of the fans, even if they didn't get a souvenir. Now, most defensive shifts in baseball, the Yankees are second on that list, Jack, and we saw it to their detriment last night. Victor Martinez just kind of cued one towards third, and there was nothing Jeter could do. Right. The Yankees have decided this year they're going a lot more shift heavy, and sometimes, as you just pointed out, Bob, it is going to work against you. I think the shifts are great, obviously, when they work, but you need people who are out there doing what Headley does. No knock on anyone else who has played third base for the Yankees recently. Alex Rodriguez once was a very solid defensive player. He got a little bit slower last year. Headley has made more plays plays in his time of being with the Yankees than I can think of any third baseman going back to last year. Combine all those third basemen, they haven't done what Headley has done in a couple of weeks. Kenny, does shifting mm -hmm. a lot make sense if you're telling your pitcher just to do the same thing he always does and pitch the same way he always does? Well, usually they do want the pitchers to pitch the same way. They feel that the hitters are going to, the ones that are going to hit the ball to certain areas. And I, I kind of agree with the shifting as far as left-handed batters are concerned, uh, in particular because you don't see many left-handed batters hitting the ball to third base. I think they said the percentage was 7% of the time they hit the ball to third base. Unfortunately for the Yankees, Victor Martinez did it last night.